All right, we're back. Um, like I said, headed for um, headed towards uh, Hidden Valley. Did I check you? Oh no! Varmint rifle, dynamite. Damn. Twenty gauge bottle caps. Um. I don't know. I probably shouldn't because I don't think I can. Where are we? Huh. Uh, nothing. See, they took all the good stuff out of it. See if anything's on this. I think it's about time to leave the. Uh oh. Hey. Who said hey? Dang, there's more of them. What have you done? Say goodbye to your head. All right. He just ruined my good sleep. <laughs> uh, dynamite. I wonder why they're so separated. All right. Should be straight over that way. That is. Oh, that's. I think that's a. Uh, eh. Let's find a different way down here so that you guys can follow. Oh, I don't want to be hidden. That's probably why. Put this up, check the map real quick. It should be up around this corner. And is this it? Yep, Hidden Valley. Is everybody behind me? Yep. Got to get the gun out because sometimes there's scorpions around here. All right, now this is the hideout for. Uh, uh, Brotherhood of Steel and like I said sometimes scorpions and we need to find out which of these bunkers did I get stung? Well, I tell you one thing about this game as compared to um, uh, what you call it, uh, Fallout 3 is your companions. Uh, their kills counts for you too. And while you're here, when you see this rock, it has like a that bomb and the heart on it. It's a hollowed out rock. Does it have anything? Yeah, it's sellable. 
Okay, I got one more enemy around here somewhere. Oh, three more. And I can almost bet you they're scorpions. Yeah, see? See them? Okay, they're far enough away. I'm going to... Okay, supposedly, and I'm fixing to find out, you can tell the, not only with all this, which I think they all have some kind of writing, but you see there's a tree stump on top of the roof. All right. Like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. Make sure you <laughs> I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> For Pete's sake. Opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. All right, here we are. Having Veronica with you allows you instant access to here. If you don't have Veronica with you, uh, let's see here. Miscellaneous? No. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Perks. You have the password here that you got from the soldiers or the Brotherhood of Steel folks. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself and we won't have any problems, okay? Sure. Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Okay. Downstairs. Oops. Is it this right? No, there's no door there. I thought I saw a door. And take a right. Okay. Did he not say take a right? Alright, here we go. The wonderful world of being lost. Oh, this is shooting range. I don't want to be in here. Would you trip? <sighs> How may I assist you? That's the medical. I don't like being in these places. <laughs> oh, it's a classroom. Come on. Then you bring your second unit up to provide covering fire, like so. All right, this is probably going to be a wander around, ha. Huh? In case you haven't already guessed. Ah, uh, what's this? Is this is in inaccessible. A door to hit him doing okay. Level 2. Ah, oh, there he is. 
When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. Mm. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here, though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Um, yeah. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. While that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Okay. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, huh. but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Find the missing brother of patrol, Repcon, and retrieve their... I thought I did already. <clears throat> huh. I didn't see a hollow tape there though. So my guess is I gotta go back, so anyway. So you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander. Who is this? Harden. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Yeah, Things I guess. Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. And I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the elder talked to you about. But I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Oh, why not? As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Uh. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an Elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you. And you have a line open to the man himself. Uh -huh. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. All right, well, um, this door. That's where I'm trying to go. Ah, come on, look at this one more time. Am I going the right way now? Uh, 
maybe. Uh, okay, this way. Right? No, that's the bedroom. That's the classroom. I'm going the complete wrong way. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, what is this? Okay, that's level two. So... Ah, I hate these things. I really, truly do. Okay, round this way. And around this way. Yeah, no, I'm looking at the map a lot, but. Ah, here we go. And this way. There we go. And once we get outside. Come on, let's get outside. There we go, we're outside. All right. I'm going to call this a video. Uh, ooh, look at all those. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.